Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is uh, Solomon Jagwe. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a quick test uh, with the Perception Neuron Studio mockup data. So bef uh, previously you guys have seen me do some tests of uh, the Perception Neuron uh, 2.0 and then the Pro version. And so this is the Studio version. So this mockup data, and as you can see, the skeleton looks a little bit different. Than the other one uh, looks pretty cool actually and i want to see how this data looks inside of uh, iClone so i'm using uh, iClone for most of my animations in the adventures of Mkoza and Nancha but i'm also using it in uh, my short science fiction films and there's one that i'm working on right now and i will be using the pro suit and also the 2.0 suit now this the studio suit has finger tracking that's why i'm so interested to see how it looks like in the in iClone all right so back here I have a scene that I've set up uh, this one is one of the characters provided by uh, Reallusion and I've seen a model that is similar to this on uh, Crytek right back when they were doing some, yeah, like some Crytek demos they had this uh, really cool looking model so this one is a duration of that I, I believe but we're gonna see what it looks like this is nicely textured so it'll give us a very good idea of what it looks like in real time so first thing I have to do is go to plugins go to motion live and click on that and I have to make sure the character is selected and under the body activate perception neuron and also activate perception right here so if it's well if it's connected properly it should turn green and also red on this turn so we're gonna do a preview to see what it looks like and i usually keep it at iClone instead of the mock-up data for the root position so let's press preview and spacebar and then i have to go back to here uh, let's re rewind and press play so right now we're looking at the data <laughs> isn't that pretty cool and it's a one-to-one -one ratio actually so and this is a cool thing about uh, using motion capture for storytelling uh, especially for those who are indie film developers yeah uh, a lot of studios have much bigger budgets and they can afford uh, camera based systems so these inertia based systems are pretty cool and affordable for people who are just uh, you know doing indie film production and this is one of those I guess in the media range but what is really neat is that you can tell that it has it's tracking the fingers very 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 well look at that let's zoom in a little bit more this is pretty cool and so I can't wait to do more tests with this uh, suit uh, with this uh, data data from this suit and uh, religion you guys have done no, uh, religion and face and uh, sorry reallusion and noitum uh, you guys have done a great job of uh, creating this uh, seamless you know relationship within this uh, the plugin and this program and as you can see it look it looks great in iClone <laughs> hardly any foot sliding because that's the main thing that you normally notice when you're doing a mock-up is that usually this this is what is the you know the giveaway is that the feet are sliding around right so this data it's not even cleaned up in iClone this is straight from uh, here and that's neat I mean you can look at uh, the feet look at that it looks very 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 stable so as I create more projects, I'll make sure that I share with you guys so you can get a sense of what it's like and maybe it will help you make a decision when you're choosing which motion capture suit to buy. But for now, I'm very, very excited and I'll share with you the progress of this short film that I'm working on and see you next time. Don't Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get an alert when I post new videos. All right, see you later, guys.